When patients get an organ transplant, they're advised to follow a strict protocol. Their job and goal is to avoid rejection. And if you're a female, to avoid pregnancy too. Well, tonight we bring you a medical dilemma, a very complicated case, and proof that life finds a way. Hi. Hi. This mother and daughter in Lafayette might just represent a medical miracle. I feel very blessed in this whole situation. You see, Andrea, the mom, beat her odds of survival. And baby Vivian did the same with her arrival. Their existence is a case for the medical history books that her doctor hopes is a one and done. I hope I never see another pregnant patient ever again. <laughs> The long odds started at birth. That's when Andrea was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. At the time, her life expectancy was 19. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic condition that thickens the fluids in your body, clogging your lungs and other organs. And I've always been told I can never get pregnant. By her 27th birthday, Andrea was alive, but miserable. I was just in, at a point that I didn't want to live anymore. It seemed like the day that I prayed for God to take me was the night that I got my transplant. Then, in an 11-hour surgery, Andrea got a new pair of unclogged lungs. I think she would be dead if she had not had her transplant. Since surgery, fighting infection and rejection are Andrea's top priorities. Doctor visits are routine. They did the urine sample, and she came back, and she said, is there a possibility that you're pregnant and I said no I don't think so but Andrea was pregnant and an ultrasound eventually confirmed the news um, she was not planned I have always wanted to be a mother but I had kind of gotten used to the fact that I would never be a mom I'm not gonna say I was happy <laughs> I'm very I was very excited for she and the in the father and her family but uh, my first concern is Andrea's survival. It was a pregnancy that Andrea wanted to pursue. So Dr. Rowe and a large medical team at IU Health came together to support her and map out a plan. He did a ton of research. If you look in the literature, it really hasn't been reported that much. But it's not really something that you want to go around saying, yeah, we encourage our patients to become pregnant after transplant, because that is absolutely not the case. Andrea went on documenting her pregnancy as specialists tweaked all the medications that could hurt the baby. They also monitored antibodies that could attack the baby and or Andrea's new lungs. I was very stressed, very worried, very concerned. But it all worked out. On June 15th of last year, Vivian was born. Four pounds, 14 and a half ounces. Life always seems to find a way. She just... Blossom. It, this is a very unique opportunity for that donor to give life twice. You give Andrea life, and the donor gave Vivian life. <laughs> Vivian is now 10 months old. I love being a mom. Oh my gosh. A daughter, a rare surprise gift, and daily motivation for Andrea to stay as healthy as she can as long as she can. <laughs> Vivian is my ray of sunshine. She is my world, my everything. She's my hope. And she is such a happy, happy little baby. She turns one in June, but before that, Andrea will celebrate the first of what she hopes is many Mother's Days.